Okay, I promised you guys I was gonna do Martinez and show you what I believe is an active FEMA camp. Here we are driving on the back roads. Every now and then they'll have um, like a ranger out, but not usually. God, I hope it doesn't take me 10 minutes to get there. But as always, you have to go through gates which are rarely open. Um, while I'm driving to the spot, might as well talk a little bit about just whatever, because, you know, babbling's fun. Um, yeah, I've really been woken up to the movement. By the way, there's the bay, uh, the bridge in the distance, whatever the case may be. So, um, I was in Napa yesterday talking about the 9-11 memorial. If you couldn't pick up on my sarcasm, I really don't know what to say. Let me blow this up a little bit. Um, yeah, I was trying to be pretty sarcastic. Actually, that looks worse. Let me blow it back down. Um, of course, I don't think it happened like they said. I think there was a controlled demolition. That's my personal opinion. Uh, Operation NORAD, all that nonsense. I've done my own research. Uh, I don't have the ability to cite things the way that other people do. And I keep on giving out mad props to the people that deserve mad props. I'm being told that some of the people I'm giving these mad props to are pretty um, young in the game. Well, I've just kind of been lurking, not trolling, but lurking to see what other people have to say. And I have to be honest, I look forward to the videos every single day. I look forward to a lot of people's videos. Um, the two most well, you already know. Like I said, I can't give out shout-outs every single video. But I will say that there are others that definitely do their homework. The only thing that I'm really good for is being on foot, driving through these crazy Californian back roads. Um, this is, once again, going back to cordoning off park land. This is technically, super technically, a park. You can physically get in here. But there are parts of this park that you cannot get into and we're hopefully coming up on it now I've been talking for almost three minutes you see how windy these roads are um, I don't believe this road even has a name it's just part of the shoreline parks and you know to the left you got mountains and whatnot to the right you better be a good driver and not go off the flipping cliff, otherwise, uh, yeah, not a, not a good idea. So I'm going to try to keep my eyes on the road here. Of course, uh, wonderful California, you got to be all hands-free about it, so hopefully I get by with this one. Like I said, technically supposed to be a park. I don't know if you can read that. But once again, more park space being cordoned off. Anyways, here's where it really gets interesting. Um, I'm gonna park just cause you can see something here for a minute. I'm gonna jump on, I'm gonna throw my hazards and all that crap and hopefully I don't get in trouble. Okay, from out here, one moment please. I want you to notice something and then, okay, this is kind of what I was trying to show you. I don't know if you can see it, but there's your bins, there's your um, entry station. Now, of course, they hide it with all the trees, but what I find most interesting is it's right next to an active railroad. That's the Amtrak, my friends. And I want you to see this really weird green house like I'm literally trying to dip over things so you can see it here that's as blown up as big as it gets and that is way the hell down there um, and do you see way over there that path that kind of goes up well it winds around and it brings you to a better visage shot now notice those fences I don't know if you can see them from here but those are tall fences those are real barbed wire fences 
with the barbed wire meant to keep the people in. And then there's a secondary fence meant to keep them out. I don't know if you can see it. I hope to goodness gracious you can. But there are two fences. Now that is an active Amtrak. This pier over there, they don't use that anymore. Yet, maybe. But they reconstructed it for whatever reason. And of course, that's the, the rest of the bay. Like you got Benicia and Vallejo over there. Mare Island's gonna be a different video. But like I said, when I aim this down, you have to understand, like, that's me zoomed all the way out, okay? And then, like I said, you got this little check-in station here, which of course is all hidden by these trees and stuff. Then you come over here and there's a house, a little green house, and I swear to you, like, if, I'm, if I move any further, I'm gonna fall off this damn thing. But you can see a truck parked right next to the house, and I swear to you, there is a playground over there. I'm gonna try to grab it before the 10 minutes are up, because I promised you guys this stuff, and I'm really, really trying to, oh God, I'm really trying to come through. So like I said, this is publicly accessible, but this is what I've been trying to, uh, tell, let me zoom all the way back out again. This is what I've been trying to tell you about. Okay, and I want to get up to it quickly before my 10 minutes are up because we're almost at six and a half. Uh, yeah, watch for vehicles indeed. Um, okay, let me just show it to you. Get up to it here real quick. Okay, the road ends in 500 feet, right? Now that house I was telling you about, oh my God, it's actually open. Okay, well I'm not going in there because that's no joke, my friends. That is no joke. Okay, there's your address, there's your everything. So you know what's up. But they call it a fire trail with these little markers. Seriously, though? Come on. So 